What's up, Gita family? It's your girl, Mika, and I am back with another video. Hi, I am Prophetess Tamika, and you have tuned in to Prophetess Tamika's Kingdom Thinking, where we confirm the mind to be kingdom, think kingdom-minded, right? How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday. It is November the 8th. Okay, it's a beautiful Tuesday, November the 8th. I'm loving my... My fro. Anyway, so y'all, today is just a light word. It's a light word. We have a word, but it's a it's kind of light, but not light. You feel me? It's gonna help you think on some stuff. Cause y'all know that's what I like to do. Forgive me. Sometimes I be looking this way when I need to be looking at y'all. How are y'all this morning? Hope all is well with thee. Um. Okay. So as you see the title of the video. We're going to talk about God's favor. You know, you know, favor isn't fair or is it? Because see, God is a fair God and he has no respect to person. And what he give one, he'll give to the other. But are you willing to do what the other done to get what they got? That's where the question come in, or is it? See, some people be wanting all the favor that they see other people have, but they're not willing to pay the price. Before we go into that, let me just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you on today. I thank you for just being God. I thank you for rising us up and then let's see a new day. I ask that you open our ears and our hearts so we can give the spirit of sin to the church. I ask that this word fall on good ground. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that those that have not surrendered their lives to you, that they do, oh God, and get an intimate relationship with you. I believe that you are just an amazing God, Heavenly Father. And I pray that everyone get to come to know that about you personally for themselves. I offer this video, this video unto thee, and I ask that you have your way. Use my vocal cords. Use my mouth. I give my body as sent to you as a living sacrifice. Use me unto thy glory. Help me to break down your word of truth. And I rebuke every spirit that tries to come up against this video. Hinder this video. I have come up of every demonic voice that tries to contaminate this video or not let the people get what you have for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So. So we're going to go to the word real quick. Yeah, I'm going to take y'all to the word real fast. I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, I'm going to get this out real quick and we're going to go on. Okay. So we're going to go to Psalms. We're going to start off real light. Where it says Psalms 35 and 27. You can go there in your Bibles. Pause this video and go to it. I also encourage y'all to check out these uh, scriptures that I'm giving you on your own time. You know, I encourage you to do so. Okay, so here we go. Psalms 35 and 27 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad. Let that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servants, right? Basically, he's saying, let them shout, those like us, those who his people, who favor his righteous cause, right? Let us, let him, let the Lord be magnified, feel me? For he have pleasure in prosperity of his servants, like he loves giving us, you feel what I'm saying? And letting us have. Okay. Now, let's get to Proverbs 3, 4 through 6. Proverbs 3, chapter 3, 4 through 6, where it says, So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust, 5, say, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. 
Now, that, I know y'all heard that probably plenty of times before, but how many apply it to your life? When you actually apply the word of God to your life is when you also can gain favor with God because you're not leaving him out. You're having an actual intimate relationship with him and he's able to tell you where to go and where to turn. And that's favor. You'll find yourself walking into a lot of blessings and a lot of things that God has for you when you follow his lead. You feel me? So that is another reason why sometimes it seems like faith ain't fair. But is you actually following God's lead? Are you actually following what he tells you to do in order to get the favor? Huh? Okay. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Okay. Having a real relationship with God, you guys, it also is like um, giving God your life. You know, like Apostle Paul once said, he said, I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when you're actually a prisoner or when you're actually somebody who just trusts God for everything, you lean on him for all things, you will acknowledge him in all your ways. And that's with relationships, business relationships, romantic relationships, friendships, um, uh, 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 like in every area, you know, should I hang with this person? Should I go to this place to eat? Heavenly Father, should I talk to the, I should take this business opportunity? Should I walk through this door? Should I, you know, attach this person to my life? Is this person going to be me? You know, in every area of decision making is when you lean and depend on him for everything and that's how you obtain favor because when you ask God he gives you a knowledge and understanding on things right also let me go let me get to it okay so Luke 12 and 48 this is the big one y'all this is the whammy of all whammies Luke 12 and 48 says, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, right? For unto whomsoever much is given mm -hmm, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Base them. I'm gonna go to the Amplified Bible. Oh no, I'm gonna go to NIV of uh, Luke 12 and 48. Uh, so y'all can be able to Luke 12 48 of the NIV, so y'all can be able to understand it just a little bit more clearer. But basically, it's saying, you know, NIV Luke 12 and 48. It's basically saying that it's. If I ask more of you, if you want more of me, more will be required. If you ask less of me, then less will be more of required. So when you want the visions, the dreams, the, I want the sermon, Lord, I want all that. I want, I, want, I want favor of yours, and I want to fall on me. And I, I, I just, you know, much is going to be required of you is you're willing. It's like what Jesus told him, well, you willing to pay the price that I pay. Here we go. Here we go. So it says... But the ones who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. Those that don't know shall be beaten with few blows because they actually didn't know. But they're still going to be punished for the wrongdoing, right? And then it says, yeah, I had pushed the button so it came. It's taking its time. Come on. It says, uh... Okay, for everyone who has been given much, much will be, uh, hold on, y'all. There we go. Okay, let me start over. Luke 12, it's 48, this is the NIV version. It says, but the, the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beat with few blows. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded, right? And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. So, that's it right there. You want favor? You got to do things to get the favor. You got to have a real relationship with Christ. You got to be sold out for him. And you can't come 
thinking, oh, well, if I just come this way and I show a little interest, like, if I, you, you can't manipulate God, you can't put on a front with God. He know your heart. So you can't come saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all in. And God know he sees. And you're just saying it for the favor. Or you're just doing it because you want the blessings. It's just like the multitude that followed Jesus. Most of them was there for the, the fishes and the loaves. But when it was over, they left. It was only 120 that went up to the upper room and got the real spirit of the Holy Ghost. It was 12 disciples. And it was 12, up, 70 others, you know, that went out and did things for God. But those multitudes was like 5,000. It was a whole lot of them. And they only was there for the fishes and loaves. Meaning the blessing of God. And if he's, if you're only going to be there for that, you ain't going to lay it. But the true favor go to those who are actually sacrificing their lives to live for Christ. They're giving it all to God without hesitation, without thinking. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. So when you are, you know, wanting to be all in for Christ, you're ready to lose your life. You're willing. And then that's when the seeking his face and asking him for direction and the favor come with that. Because God rewards those who diligently seek him. It's no different than us, you know. If we find someone who's loyal to us and they're a real friend and they really mean it from their hearts, we're going to be there for them. We're going to do more for them. Those that ain't really there, we, we're not going to be all like that for them. We're going to give them what they deserve. You feel me? So it is fair. Favor is fair. It might seem like that to the people who ain't doing what they're supposed to do. And they feeling like they should have it. But what have you done? What have you done for God lately? For the favor of God to just shine on your life. Now he's a just God. He says I reign on the just as well as the unjust. A favor? That comes, that comes from you putting in the work. You know. You actually... Being there for God, being being dedicated to Him. So that was just all I wanted to say. I just wanted to put that quick word on your mind. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Favor is fair. He gives it out accordingly. So if you want the glories and the blessings and all that on your life, give Him you today. Repent of your sins, turn from your wicked ways, come to God wholeheartedly, seek Him like never before. Get close to him. And watch his spring favor in your life. I love y'all so much. Um, I hope y'all having a blessed day today. My teeth is hurting me a little bit, you guys. This back on back. I don't know what's going on. But I love y'all. And I hope y'all having an awesome day. I'm about to be out. To all my godly warriors, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise. The promise that God has for your life. And I just want to leave a quick little inspirational word with y'all. Ask God to, be, as we leave and depart from one another, we ask God to replace our fear with faith, our pain with power, and that we continue to take, can recover lust with love, with real genuine love. Be careful. Okay? Be careful. Stay watchful. Thanks to God. Love y'all. Bye-bye.